Reporting live from the A-Frame Cottage here in Grafton, Ontario. It's live from last week. Episode one. Welcome, my fellow tree walkers, to another episode of Laugh from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. Want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So quickly, last night, after having this Korean food feast with the Saga family, the wife and I got back home to the condo and opened some belated Christmas presents from our friends Andrea and Jake. Ooh, well. That will be an addition. A Sherpa throw. Ooh, oh, it's big. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Andrea and Jake. And Jake. There you go. Layer you. Now, on to today, where we have a birthday greeting to one of my coworkers who I nicknamed Paleo. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Christiana. Happy birthday, Christiana. I hope that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. And moving on to earlier this morning, where I was trying to sleep in, but as you guys can see, I just couldn't. Waking up at 6.45 to get an early start to the morning, doing a nice session on a stationary bike before the sunrise for about an hour until the sun finally had come out. And after finishing up doing a quick 90 minute road trip east of Scarborough, we are now here in Grafton, Ontario with a couple of our close friends to do a quick two day winter getaway trip at this beautiful A-frame cottage. Guys, this place is amazing. So today being day number two at this nice luxurious Airbnb here in Grafton at the A-Frame Cabin, we got up early this morning enjoying the beautiful weather outside our window. We also got set up with this marvelous breakfast cooked by a la chef, the wife. As well as being able to try out some squid-free takoyaki balls, which luckily, I'm not allergic to. And now on to the hot tub where we're currently at, having some fun with all our close friends during this winter snowstorm. But yeah guys, just check out all the fun things we did today. Oh, oh did it go in your eye? Oh, shit. Yeah, I went in my eye. <laughs>
Wow, so evidently that was a pretty big snowstorm that we had yesterday. Like, I mean, just look at the scenes that we saw outside this morning. And also, as you guys can see here, the cabin rental place had their own professional snow plower come in to our property to help clear out the snow from the snowstorm. As well, just look at all the snow that was piled up on top of the hot tub, the outdoor patio furniture, and even the snow plow itself. Anyways, after a pretty decent sleep last night, passing out at around 3.30 in the morning, staying up to watch what is now one of my favorite movies, everything, everywhere, all at once, we checked out out of our amazing accommodations for the past couple of nights. But now before we did a quick video slash photo shoot in and around the property of the A-frame cabin. Not mentioning the tough time that I had shoveling all the snow in and around the areas of where we parked. Once we were on our way, we then visited the famed place here just off the highway in Colborne, Ontario. This local attraction, the one, the only, Big Apple. And afterwards, after driving about two hours back to downtown Toronto to drop off V, then to the upper beaches to drop off Denver, the wife and I made our way to the condo to get dressed up and snazzied up to go to Oshawa to go out for dinner. But before I go on to tell you guys exactly why we were back in Oshawa to have our meal, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my childhood friends who I played house league soccer with on the DQ team. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Durand. Happy birthday, Durand. We've also got a birthday shout out to a friend that I made back when I traveled to Europe for World Youth Day 2011. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Justine. Happy birthday, Justine. And last but not least, another childhood friend who I played with in soccer and anytime I'd see him in the halls, I would give a Ric Flair, woo! This birthday shout out goes out to you, Mark. Happy birthday, Mark. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And now back to our story, why we were dressed up all snazzy, getting ready to eat back in Oshawa is because the wife and I were ready to meet up with my parents at the keg to go out and celebrate their 38th wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary. Anniversary at the So yeah, before I wrap it up for the night, just want to wish my parents, Tito Eddie and Tita Nancy, a happy 38th wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary and uh, another celebration to Janelle and I being mortgage free. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Mom. That's your plan, eh? That's yeah. our plan. Let's celebrate with you guys. <laughs> so last night, while chilling back at the condo, on the recommendation of Faye, one of my cousins, we began to watch this new Korean Netflix show called Physical 100, where people from elite athletic backgrounds and physiques compete in challenges to determine who can win the title of Best Physique. And unfortunately for us, the show has not yet released all their episodes in this season yet. And after watching just two episodes so far, we'll have to wait until the end of January to continue watching this series. Either way, after getting a decent sleep last night, I was very motivated and went down to the locker to pick up my new dumbbell set that I got from last week, bringing them back up to the condo and doing a quick workout with these babies working on my very own physique. I also decided to challenge myself a little bit by doing a second one hour workout while I was on the stationary bike this afternoon after only going to the cemetery to visit my Lola for my monthly visit. Hey Lola! 
it's JJ. Just wanted to do my monthly visit to you. Say Happy New Year. Hope you're doing well up there in heaven. Continue to pray for us, look over us. But first, Lilla, I got a quick belated Christmas slash Happy New Year present for you. It even has your name on it. So Lilla, we'll just place this right here. Maybe next time we visit, we can open it up and I can share it with you on a day where I don't have to go into work later. Okay. Bye for now, Lala. See you next month. And now, before I go in for my first in a set of four scheduled night shifts tonight, we just have a quick birthday greeting to my work ER, who we last saw in this episode of Live from Last Week. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kate. Happy birthday, Kate. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. After yet another spectacular one-to-one -one shift with my buddy ICU Max last night and reuniting with one of my other friends bringing them a patient up to ICU who I haven't seen since this episode of Live From Last Week, Crystal. This morning while the wife and I were making our way to the condo, we decided to stop by the Saga house dropping off some gifts to the Saga family, quickly reuniting with the brother-in-law's puppy Sesame before going home and getting a decent post-night shift nap in. One that was decent enough that I was able to get a quick one hour stationary bike workout in, getting my heart rate up to the low to mid 170s, before showering up and going in for my second of my scheduled four night shifts. But quickly, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my titas out there. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Tita Mafe. Happy birthday, Tita Mafe. Next up, we got a birthday shout out to one of my family friends overseas across the pond. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Strawberry. Happy birthday, Rosna. And last but not least, a birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends going back to Mother Teresa, who I'm remembering had a big smile on his face while we were running around on the playground. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Pika. Happy birthday, Pika. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. This afternoon, after driving home in beautiful wet snow winter-like conditions, waking up after getting a pretty decent post-night shift nap session in, I got back on the stationary bike to do a quick exercise session, of which you guys can see here, I used my new dumbbells while on the bike doing some more cardio, combining the exercises just to save on time. Plus, other good news in this exercise routine was that I was able to fit in 100 push-ups within my workout. But continuing on, before I go in for my third of my scheduled four night shifts tonight, we have several birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting out with one of my childhood friends who I remember first meeting in Mr. Austin's grade seven class. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Stefan. Happy birthday, Stefan. Next, we got a birthday shout out to one of my coworkers who I haven't seen in a while, but I look forward to seeing sometime in the near future. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Ruby. Happy birthday, Ruby. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends who you remember in this Laugh and Last Week episode gave me those volleyball pants. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Danny Mac. Happy birthday, Danny Mac. And last but not least, a birthday shout out to one of my RT coworkers who is also a big Blue Jays fan. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Nikki. Happy birthday, Nikki. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Driving home on my beautiful commute this morning, while filling up the mini on an AM breakfast buffet, I remember that A, I broke my Fitbit watch wristband yesterday during my workout, and B, that circ clip that keeps my drive shaft for my stationary bike in place keeps on slipping off. For example, at the start of my workout, the crankshaft would look just like this, with after five to 10 minutes later, it would shift to the right and look like this. So several times in the middle of my workout, I would have to get off the bike and adjust the said circ clip and hammer the crankshaft back to align itself straight in place. So what I did this afternoon after getting a decent post night shift nap in today, I got on the bike for a nice light bike workout and went online shopping to get some of these parts to get these things fixed just in time for my workouts set for next week. 
But when I saw that I just needed to purchase a little bit more in order to qualify for free shipping, I added this push-up board that I've had my eye out on for the past couple of weeks to the shopping cart. And as a special bonus, I was able to use this Amazon shopping gift card for 50 bucks in order to help offset the costs. Bringing my total for all these three items to about six bucks. Anyways, moving on, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting out with one of my SMIOA family friends back in the States. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kimberly. Happy birthday, Kimberly. Next up, a birthday shout out to the great former owner who used to drive around and take care of our current baby mini. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Dustin. Happy birthday, Dustin. And last but not least, a birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball buddies of whom I've had the honor of playing indoor and twos with in the past. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Axer. Feliz cumpleaños, Axer. I'm hoping that all my friends and family that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, if you guys haven't already noticed, I'm pretty excited because I get to sing this song that I haven't sang in a long time. Actually, for the first time this year, with me tonight, going in for my fourth of my scheduled four night shifts. Meaning, we get to sing one more night. And with that, my friends, wraps up this week's episode. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.